Um, but I'll tell you what, uh, mm-hmm. Cyberpunk 2077, I don't know if I, we talked about this a lot, because you ran me through uh, the last sort of event they did for it, um, of uh, demos and videos and trailers and stuff, mm-hmm. and I'm now convinced that I'm going to buy and play Cyberpunk 2077, because okay, I was just sort of like, whatever about it. I'm not hyped, but I'm certainly kind of like excited now for the first time after mm-hmm. the last one, because I've never really paid attention to it or looked any like into it at all but mm-hmm. the style looks like fun the different storylines and choices you'll pick look fun i'm definitely going nomad i've decided mm-hmm. um definitely yeah. more my my style so um i'm looking mm-hmm. forward to it i'm looking forward yeah. to it yeah. what are you gonna play first and let's be honest i don't want you to fucking lie to me mm-hmm. what are you gonna play first valhalla or cyberpunk well valhalla comes out first now so. yes no now now are you going to finish Valhalla before you start Cyberpunk or are you going to start Cyberpunk? Well, what and I've decided... finish Cyberpunk before you go back to Valhalla. <clears throat> what I've decided sp- is, because right. with with something like Valhalla, I obviously I'm interested in what Darby's done with it, obviously. And I am interested to play it and see where the game goes and how it pans out and if it's any good. Um, right. But at the end of the day, it is like almost... Like it's a job, really. It's like, you know, people care about what I have to say about it. And I can't not play it, so I'm going to have to. So, what I've decided to do, and I think this is going to work out for the best, is do what I did with Odyssey, which is stream the game. uh, Because people love seeing my initial reaction and watching me stream it, and I think it would be a waste not to. Like, a big waste of money. So, why not do that? So, I'll stream Valhalla, and that allows me then to not put off Cyberpunk. So... I'll be able to stream Valhalla at set times during each day or whatever. And then, yeah. you know, at night or when I'm not streaming during the day or whenever, I can then actually get into and just play Cyberpunk and enjoy it when it comes out rather than putting it off because I've got to sit and play through Valhalla. I think it'll I think yeah. it'll be more beneficial for both. I think I'll enjoy both a lot more that way. Um, and I think it'll work out for the best. So yeah. there you Agreed. go. Hopefully, hopefully Valhalla's not too, too long as well so I can get that done and be working on a a video it'll be long long. let's be real honest with ourselves let's just be honest with ourselves (sighs) well you know hopefully i don't think it'll be as long as odyssey you know yeah gotta like fucking grind or do any of that shit but i think it'll be decent so fucking bad um yeah i know i was thinking about it the other day and i was like wow that happened yeah that did happen i can't believe it wow yeah i'm probably gonna play valhalla first and just finish valhalla because i can't Mm. really like imagine playing two games at the same time it's hard enough to imagine playing a game sometimes yeah, no. I, I can't so, unless one is a stream series because like i can compartmentalize yeah and that's, be like, that's that's work i can push that aside yeah right well um, i'm well i'm gonna jump on Hori- stream horizon first and then i'm mm-hmm. gonna stream fable one two and three. Oh, that'll be cool um, i might do brotherhood in between just because it's the 10 year anniversary ah yeah, I might yeah just do brotherhood for a couple of weeks uh, mm-hmm. but it's not like that it'll take long so no no, you could do that in one go. It'd be like two hours and you're done. <laughs> Too easy. How dare you? It's Brotherhood. And and are you going to do like a 10-year retrospective? Yes, I am, yeah. I'm going to start working on that soon. Well, first I'm going to start working on my Hearts of Stone one for The Witcher. Uh, yeah. But then I'll start. Then I'll do uh, Brotherhood. Yeah. And that'll be cool. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll play I'll play Valhalla first. I'll add a side punk. Just because I feel like I'll enjoy... I'll enjoy Cyberpunk more or and Valhalla more if I play it in that order. Mm-hmm. If that makes sense. Like I'll be like, well, Valhalla was like not that bad. It was pretty good. Like I like the story, but this XYZ I didn't like whatever. It'll be what it is. Mm. And then I'll play Cyberpunk and be like, man, this is so much better than Valhalla. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, Doing it the other way so, around is weird. And you'll you'll end up getting it fucking spoiled anyway. If there's any moments in Valhalla, people will just like spoil it for you. In, in uh, fairness, I'm gonna get Valhalla spoiled for me anyway because if I take more than 24 hours to finish it, <laughs> send me DMs with spoilers and shit. Actually, I'll probably have to turn off my, like, close my DMs mm-hmm. while Valhalla is out because that's, like, the one game that people mm-hmm. will just spoil for me. Yeah. Tweet at you. Oh, what did you think of the ending when this happened? I'm like, the game isn't even out yet, you fuck. <laughs> like, that'll happen. <laughs> what did you think of the ending happen? when Desmond Miles came back and was actually Jack the Ripper? Did you think it was cool? I thought it was cool. Yeah, right. And I'll be like, but I'll love be like, that can't be real. And then I'll play, I'll like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, fucking people tweeting fake spoilers. 
Yeah. Oh dear. Yeah. I've had that a couple of times where I'm like, oh, that's hilarious, that's fake. And then I watch whatever that thing was, I play whatever the thing was, I'm like, unbelievable. How was yeah. that real? How was that real? Wild. My hair, dude, my hair is, I keep playing my hair, it's a fucking shit show today. It's just <laughs> an absolute mess. My hair's been looking good recently. I've finally grown it, like, back a lot. It's got a mm-hmm. good length to it on top now, but I just haven't done anything with it the last two days, and it's just no product in it. And it's just, like, looking curly and flowy, and I hate it. It's disgusting. Just, you just got to embrace it. Nah, bro, I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, not doing it. I'm not doing it, man. That's my new catchphrase. <laughs> yeah, I've not noticed. Dude, dude, I've got one of my uh, mates at work. He says, mm. I'm not doing it. It's like his fucking thing he says, but we all say it because he says it so much, and now I just say it. Yeah. I've, in the last week, he's it's been his catchphrase for months, but I've only started saying it outside of work for the past two weeks. Yeah. And I noticed myself, the last book is I'm like, ah, oh, shit, I've become him. I'm saying it all the time. Yeah. But I only said it to make fun of him for saying it. Yeah, it's the same thing I and do all saying, the time. So With me, with yeah. things I say. I just make yeah. fun of shit. And then I yeah. stop doing it. Yeah, um, so that's where I'm at with, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing Cause it, Because you man. ask him anything. It's just like, oh, dude, can you do this? He's like, I'm not doing it. That's too much effort. I'm not, I'm not fucking doing it. It's like, all right, mate. All right. He's the type of guy that, like, he goes to a drive-thru and if there's one car, he's like, I'm not doing it. I'm t- it's too long. I'm turning around. <laughs> like, he just, he, <laughs> like, uh, he won't do anything. Anything that's, like, a waiting time. Like, if it takes more than, like, his, his thing is, like, he's like, if it takes more than two minutes for me to find a car park at a shopping center, I'm, I'm turning around going home. I'm not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing it. I'm not looking for a park. Oh, that sounds like me. It's like, I, honestly, as I've been explaining, I'm like, that's you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But what do you mean? There's parks right there. Yeah, but they're next to pillars, and I'm not doing. Hey, it. last time I like, fucking did it, I fucking took my wig mirror off. Not risking it again. Did you actually? When was that? One time, like years ago? No, it was recently. Don't you remember? I swear I talked about this on the podcast. Oh my god, you did! I I can't, but especially. But that's the thing, man. That's not the pillar's fault. That's you're an idiot. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was my fault. But I'm saying, like, that's why I don't park next to pillars. But but do you I was feel like, like the fact that you're so nervous about parking next to them is the reason you've done it? You know what I mean? Like I've never been scared of a pillar, and I've never it's not. Done that. I wouldn't say I'm I don't scared. Think it's a, I don't think it's a coincidence that you're so scared of pillars and you ran into a pillar. Uh, look, I think that's what I'm saying. I think I don't think I'm necessarily scared of it. It's not that I'm worried about the pillars. It's just that it's just inconvenient. I'd rather not park next to a pillar if I can avoid it. And normally I can avoid it, so why not avoid it? But that time I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna do it. I'm not fucking scared. And then I got complacent and took my wing mirror clean off. So that's unbelievable. How much did that cost to fix? Uh, it wasn't much actually. I think it was like two hundred and fifty quid or something like that. But dude, imagine being a good driver and not spending five hundred Australian dollars on fixing a mirror. Hey, look, it's fine. It look, it won't happen again. Obviously, it's never going to happen again, is it? Um, Why is that? Is it because you're going to get better driving or you're not going to park next It's because I'm going to be conscious to. of it. So if I ever do park next to a pillar, I will be consciously... Like last time, I took my wing mirror off because I wasn't paying attention to the pillar. But obviously at this time, I just, I'll always Why do the you pillar. think you're a bad driver? Like I wonder... Like, I am you, not there... a bad driver. You are though. I am, like, I am a, a driver. fine driver. I am absolutely I fine. Would, I, I can drive that. from A to B. I only get oh, okay. lost three so... times. It's fine. It's yeah, not but an that's issue. what I'm saying. Like you struggle getting places because, like, you couldn't even get home from the airport when you picked. Up. Hey, look! As soon as I got look, the car with you, like driving out of Heathrow like, is a nightmare. It's not, not easy. Dude, there are so the many first, winding roads. I've never seen a roundabout like that before in my life. So I was like, but I assumed you were used to it. But within by the second time we'd gone through, and I'm like, oh. I don't know how this works. You definitely have to go on that lane, and then you didn't get in that lane. I'm sorry. I just oh, yeah, wasn't paying right. attention. It was an I issue. Wasn't paying but this is my thing. That's two times you said that. You you ran into the building, you weren't paying attention. <laughs> you didn't turn the right lane, you weren't paying attention. Why aren't you paying attention okay, when you I, drive? Well, okay, to- I was paying attention, but like I was just confused. I, look, what do you mean you were confused? Look, I might have taken the wrong turn, but I took the wrong turn with grace, and I did it well. D- uh, yeah, and right. that is fine. But you also took the wrong turn two times in a row yeah like we just went around and around this roundabout like i was, like, I was just psyching out. you out i was just wanted to see if you panic that's it was all intentional oh, keep, keep, just keep me on my toes this exactly test. that's what it was uk stress test exactly and i i didn't i pa- i didn't pass the anger test but i passed the stress <laughs> test. I, wasn't stressed about the, I wasn't stressed about the driving i was just angry at you for being a terrible driver <laughs> and, and game of the year's already come out anyway last of us part two hate is gonna hate it's what it is
yeah, I mean, Final so. Fantasy Seven, but, you know, that's okay. Well, I haven't played it yet, so I'm sure you haven't played it yet. I haven't played so. it yet. The last one's fucking jumping... so good, though. I was thinking about oh, it dude, the other day. It's... It's. It, I like it more with time. Yeah. The more I think about it, I'm like, what an experience! Like, it's going up my list of all-time games. Like, of how much it's affected me. Yeah. Emotionally affected me. What, and for how much I was like, oh, I like the last of one. I like it. It's really good. And that was sort of it. Like, I wasn't yeah. really that emotionally moved by it whatsoever. To how much the second game just totally blew my fucking mind and emotions up. That I still think about it, and I'm emotionally like. Oh wow, that was so intense. Yeah. Months later, I know it's it has stuck with me. Probably like no other game ever has in some ways. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm still sad about it. Like I still feel sad. Yeah, it's such a fucking journey. Like every time I think about it, I'm like, oh god, I need to not think about it. It's too much. Such yeah. an incredible experience. Yeah, I just don't see. I just don't see anything beating it, including Final Fantasy. Including Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, look, Chinese. Final Fantasy beats it pretty much purely because it makes me feel happy, <laughs> and like I would, I prefer right. that emotion. That's really what it comes down to. Yeah, right. See, uh, the same reason I drink black coffee is I like things I like because I want to be bitter. Um, <laughs> I, I drink black coffee because I have my coffee the way my heart is, and it's bitter and black. Yeah. Um, so that's Makes why sense. I also like my games and stories and movies. Um, I want to feel ho- hopeless um, yeah. and lost yeah. um, and alone. It's like my real life. Yeah, so. I was going to say, that's how I feel every single day. So Yeah, it's relatable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I need that. 